Probably, like most of us, we've been thinking a lot about Christmas this year and thinking about how it's less than normal. And I don't know what you think about when you think about Christmas being normal. Perhaps it's certain foods that you always make sure that you have around the Christmas table, or whether it's certain traditions with family and friends, it's gatherings at work, all those sorts of other things that we do around Christmas time that we don't do at any other time of the year, and we realize that this year it's not normal. We won't be doing those things. And so maybe this Christmas you're thinking in Christmas in more terms of loss and the things that aren't happening than are happening. And I've, I've given this a bit of thought. I've been thinking about, well, why do I celebrate Christmas? What are the reasons I have to celebrate Christmas? And as followers of Jesus, we know that it is a celebration of Christ's birth. And that has nothing to do with what's going on around us and the circumstances of our lives at this point in time. You know, I think of Mary and Joseph on that first Christmas night, traveling to Bethlehem under government-sanctioned census, and I'm sure that they would much rather be at home with family and friends with Mary this close to giving birth. And then I think too of them in the stable and such a place for the birth of a savior, probably not the place that Mary had in mind to give birth to what God had promised to her. And in fact, maybe the stable was in stark contrast to the time where Mary and Joseph saw angels before them, told of God's plan, and now, at this point in their lives, having to go to Bethlehem, and then she gave birth in a stable. Maybe it wasn't the way that they thought it was going to take place. Well, maybe we have added things to Christmas that has nothing to do with the reality of Christmas and the birth of our Savior. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 19, it says, And this is after Mary had given birth. The angels appeared to the shepherds. The shepherds came to Mary, and they saw what was promised, and they went away praising God and telling everybody that a Savior had been born. And it says this about Mary. Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. And so the question that I have for myself and maybe for all of us is, what are we treasuring this Christmas? What are we pondering about? It has nothing to do with the circumstances around us. Whether or not we think that Christmas is going to be normal or we're thinking more about the things that we're losing, the reality is Emmanuel, God with us. This Christmas, may the reality of Christ's birth fill your heart with peace and calmness that God's plans are in place and they will be achieved. Think not of what you're missing out on this Christmas, but think of what God has promised and what you've gained because of God's fulfillment of his promises. The very circumstances of our lives will not thwart God's work in our lives and in our world. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Merry Christmas and have a blessed new year.